F1. Have we seen the last Monaco GB in F1? There is no contract for 2023. Red Bull's Sergio Perez. Is he the last winner of the Monaco F1 race? The Monaco GP has been part of Formula One since 1950, an iconic city race full of luxury and glamour, but the luster has fallen. The Monaco GP in F1 is no longer the only city race under the calendar, but there are other races that may give the sport more. This year, the Miami GP debuted, a completely new type of city race, and next year, a city race in Las Vegas will also be included in the F1 calendar. But the Monaco GP in F1 will not be included at all. Not yet at least. Throughout the week, it has been discussed whether Monaco will get a different track layout, because the current layout does not fit the cars of the new era at all. F1 without Monaco is not F1. F1 has a history and historic tracks that Silverstone, Monza, and Monaco should be in Formula 1, says Charles Leclerc who was born and raised in Monaco. No other qualifier is as fun as here. It is the driver who makes the difference, because the wall is so close. You feel it is dangerous and really notice the speed. He wants to keep the race, but may see a change to increase the possibility of overtaking. We could turn left before the tunnel and make a long straight there, he says. Will the Monaco GP run in F1 2023? There are several things that F1's owner Liberty Media with manager Stefano Domenicali and the organizer in Monaco must resolve. One thing is that Monaco today pays very low fee to arrange the race. There is talk of 12 to 15 million dollars, Saudi Arabia paid around 90 million dollars. Another problem is the TV production which leaves a lot to be desired, in Monaco it is managed by the local organizer. It is the only organizer who handles the TV production. We missed, for example, Sergio Perez crash in the qualifiers, because the TV production followed Charles Leclerc instead. During the race, there were a number of things that TV viewers and commentators did not get the opportunity to see. In Monaco, the organizer is also responsible for selling the advertising on the track, on other tracks it is Formula One that handles that part. It is not entirely successful after F1 collaborates with the watch manufacturer Rolex. In Monaco, the competitor tag Q has the largest advertising space and F1 wants to regulate it. In addition, F1 is not completely satisfied with the infrastructure to and from the track, nor the narrow depot street and the narrow VIP area. It is difficult to get to and from the track, and to provide guests with food and drink. Another discussion is what Charles Leclerc is talking about, the track layout. There are very few overtaking opportunities. F1 would like to say, if the track can be widened, and if they can make some changes to create a race, not a train of cars. We simply have to wait and see if there will be a Monaco GP in F1 again in 2023.